Let me just kind of give you some practical help on this. One of the things that I learned from Pastor David in this area was um, put your big rocks first. I think he got it from Stephen Covey. But let's say you had a bunch of rocks and you had a bunch of sand and you had to put it all in a container. If you put the sand in first and try to force the big rocks on top of the sand, it wouldn't work. But if you put the big rocks in first and then pour the sand in on top of the big rocks, then everything fits. So in my life, I've got big rocks. My big rocks are a devotional life, a growing daily with the Lord. Mine's not super long, it's not super spiritual. I just read a little bit of the Bible and I think about what is God trying to say to me? Okay, that's not, you know, I don't read through the Bible in a year. Oh, the pastor doesn't read through the Bible? No, I don't. I read a little bit and then I think, what's God trying to say? Uh, all of a sudden in my life, of becoming healthy has become a, a big deal to me. One day I woke up, I looked in the mirror, I didn't recognize myself. Who's that big guy in the mirror? So I tried to lose a little bit of weight, so now working out is a big rock. It goes first thing in the morning. Wake up, devotional life, workout, those are key areas. In my professional life, a big rock is the Sunday sermon. So first thing I do when I come in on a Tuesday morning, it's sermon, all the way till as, as far as I can, maybe 12, one o'clock. Wednesday, same thing, Thursday, same thing. Then the little stuff, the distractions of the day, they go in on top of that. Uh, otherwise, if you don't do your big rocks first, you'll be, you'll be controlled by the tyranny of the urgent. Uh, one uh, thing I learned from Andy Stanley, he did a little series on, on spending your time, uh, that there is cumulative value to small investments of time over a long period of time. What happens to a lot of us is we feel this pressure and this need to become spiritually mature. So what we'll do, we'll wake up one day and we'll read the Bible for like four hours. Oh, I'm so strong. That's really not how it works. It'd be better if you just put a little bit of time over a long period of time. So do 10 minutes every morning for 400 days. That's gonna produce greater value than four hours one time. There's cumulative value to small investments of time over a long period of time. Uh, there are rarely any negative effects for missing one installment of time. So this week I had a bad week, I didn't feel well, I was kinda sick, so I missed a workout. Do you know how guilty I felt for missing a workout? It was, it tells you I was worshiping the gym in, in some ways, but you know, I'm still alive. I didn't gain a pound, well I did, but that was for other reasons, but it's gonna go back away. There's rarely negative consequences for missing one installment, but neglect is cumulative. And so if you miss putting your kids to bed for 16 days in a row, that's gonna cost you. Putting your kids to bed takes five minutes. There's valuable time doing that over a long period of time. Missing one night's not a big deal, but missing 16, yeah, that is a big deal. And you're rarely gonna get to the end of your life and think to yourself, I'm so glad that I pursued the urgent things instead of the important things. Nobody gets to the end of their life and they're thankful that they checked their Facebook 40 times during the day instead of doing what they're supposed to do with their family. The urgent feels like it's most important, but it's not most important. You have to choose to prioritize the important things over the urgent things because in the critical arenas of your life, you can't make up for lost time. Your toddler's only gonna be a toddler for whatever. Your, your teenager will only be a teenager for so long. And if you neglect it now, you can't get to the end of your life when you're 40 years old and they're 21 and try to make up for the dad that you weren't when they were teenagers. You've gotta do it now. So redeem the time, be intentional. Unique time in your marriage. You can't make up for the time that you're wasting in your marriage 40 years from now. You've gotta to choose to do it now. So put your big rocks first. Make small investments of time over a long period of time. Don't be controlled by the tyranny of the urgent.